am an indigenous student of IMT, Institute of Management and Technology, Enugu State. We are angry. The students are angry. They are, they, they, how do I put it? They are trying to choke us up with bills. Most of our parents are bus drivers. You can imagine a bus driver paying a total sum of 220,500 naira in a polytechnic, not a state university. Some of us, our parents are selling our bacha inside the school. Some of them sell mist pies. Some of them are cleaners. So, uh, most of them are civil servants. The government knows how much they are paying our parents. And our school is milking us dry. You can imagine previously, Two years ago, as a student of IMT, an NG finance student, I paid a total sum of 51,500 naira. On coming back from my HND after one year, IT, I came back to meet a school fees of 161,500 naira. The textbooks that we used to buy to 1,000 naira and then 500 naira for our practical report manual. Now we are paying 2,000 naira for the textbook and 1,000 naira for practical report booklet. This is injustice. It is an unfair treatment meted on the students and it is inhuman. They are violating our rights by imposing payments on us. We are done with receiving. We cannot be at the receiving end. And to cut the whole thing off, the most annoying part is that they insisted that if we don't pay 45,000 naira mandatory hostel fee, they will not issue range number to us. You can imagine a school that does not allow the student to pay part tuition payments. It is wrong. We don't like it. It is enough. We want the government to help us and put an end to it. We cannot afford to pay 45,000 naira hostel fee. That is the only thing. The reason why we cannot pay for that hostel fee, the reason why we cannot pay for the hostel fee, one, the building is dilapidated. Last year and two years ago, the building collapsed and claimed the lives of our students and rendered some incapacitated. Some of them are on the wheelchair as I talk to you. No. IMT did not do anything to their it's family. Like they did not pay any form of damages to their, to their parents or their family. And the building remained the same. You go to hostel, you are living in hostel. They will give you a bucket of water for one week. There is no ventilation, no light, no water. And then we cannot subscribe to paying school fees, tuition fee of 80,000 when our classroom is in shambles. We have no seat, we have no good environment. You will be in the school, it will be raining and the rain will be, will be melting your books. We are done with the amount of injustice that is meted upon us. And then our anger, the increment of the school fees, it's not for every student. It is for only ND1 and HND1. Now we are asking why. Why imposing us on? Why imposing the fee? And it is outrageous. Why imposing it on the returning students and the new students? We want to know why. And then we want them to return our school fees to the normal state. SUG. Why are they collecting 1,000 naira from us? It used to be 500. They increased it to 1,000. We want to know why. We are paying for internet fee. They don't provide a free Wi-Fi to us. They don't give us. We are paying for e-library. We don't check any costs online. We want to know why. And we need it to end. Enough of the injustice. Thank you, sir. Thank you.